In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a fresh selection of Blender add-ons that will definitely elevate all sorts of aspects in your workflow. From simplifying animations, to adding dynamic cables, and even fine-tuning your lighting setup. So I think there is a lot for everyone on this video. Before we continue, I wanna talk about 3D export, which is a platform where you can sell, buy, or browse 3D assets for your projects. 3D Export has a huge library of assets and models featuring paid and free 3D models for CGI, 3D printing, game development and film assets, in addition to other stuff. The library has a huge selection that ranges from low poly models to high poly and high quality assets for different projects. And if you're not looking for new models, you can put your own models for sale. The part of the website that interested me the most is the job board. There you can find a big selection of job listings from multiple companies, including Epic Games, Ubisoft, PlayStation, and a lot more. So if you want to check it out, I encourage you to do so by clicking the link in the description down below. Let's kick things off with lazy animation which is a handy add-on that is all about making animation in Blender a much easier and simpler process. This tool, I think, simplifies your workflow by jumping over the process of creating keyframes and setting up animations. And the thing about this add-on is that it allows you to animate objects along custom paths, in addition to adding keyframes with a single click, and even control multiple objects simultaneously, which sounds just great. Plus, with features like reverse mode, you can experiment with different directions for your animation, making it super easy to try out different ideas and find what works best. So, if you're looking for a tool that can speed up your animation and let you focus on the creative part, or if you are doing something on the fly, I think this add-on will help. Another thing that will help you create better animations is lighting. And this tool called Light Wrangler can help you do that inside Blender. So why do you need this add-on? Well, you can position lights precisely where you want them to be simply by right-clicking to target the cursor. I think this can save you a lot of time and help you achieve the perfect lighting angle with ease. And you can avoid the headaches of dealing with lights, which honestly can waste some time. Also, adjusting lights is just simple, thanks to the dynamic controls that let you fine-tune power, size, and distance directly in the viewport without breaking your creative flow. But it doesn't stop there. The add-on offers realistic effects like IES profiles for accurate light distribution and gobo mode for dynamic shadow patterns, which I believe can give your renders an extra layer of depth and realism. Also, one of the coolest features I have to mention is the ability to bake your lighting setups into SDR maps, turning them into reusable assets that you can use on your other projects, which I think is great too. Now it is time to get into the nitty gritty of adding realistic cables with a physical cables add-on. The add-on is targeted towards those looking to integrate dynamic and physics-based cables in addition to wires or ropes into Blender projects with minimal effort and as less time as possible. And from what I can see, the add-on simplifies the process by automating most of the work using powerful simulation nodes that lets you generate and customize cables in a short period of time. And the cool part is that it doesn't matter if you're rigging complex mechanical assemblies or detailing architectural layout. So generally speaking, this tool got you covered. With over 20 types of procedural geometries, ranging from basic cables to intricate organic structures, you will have no trouble fitting them perfectly into your scene. And what's interesting about the add-on is features like dynamic cable, brake simulation, and tubeless effects, which ensures cables behave naturally and interact realistically with their surroundings. Now it's time to dive into interactive scene exploration with this interesting add-on called OmniStap. The add-on is for anyone who wants to experience their Blender projects from a first-person perspective, just like in a video game engine such as Unreal Engine or Unity. The add-on goes beyond Blender's standard walk navigation by providing a fully customizable and scriptable first-person controller, and it gives you things like movement mechanics, collision response, and input handling just like the stuff you see in video games. So, for example, 
If you want to create smooth walkthroughs, flying throughout the scene, or even prototyping game levels, I think this add-on can be helpful, especially if you are a game developer. Also, you got fluid and physics-based movement and capsule-based collision detection, in addition to advanced interaction, which makes this tool even better. And you can even record movements and actions. And this can be helpful for generating complex camera shots without needing tedious manual animation. So far, this add-on is really popular because it is that good. After navigating your scenes with OmniStap, it is time to refine your models with some surface details using an add-on called Decal Creator Pro. This add-on is going to be great for adding high-quality decals and normal stamps to your projects, which I think is going to help you bring models to life with realistic textures, you know, stuff like labels, logos, or even surface imperfections. The interesting thing about this add-on is simplicity. So in a short period of time, you'll be able to generate decals or normal stamps directly from your meshes. And it makes it incredibly easy to add those final touches that can help you a lot. Now, let's talk about an add-on called Simplify Plus, which is gonna be for anyone working with heavy blender scenes, offering a more advanced way to manage your viewport's performance. The default Simplify tool in Blender only adjusts subdivision levels, but Simplify Plus takes it several steps further by letting you batch toggle multiple modifiers like armature, geometry nodes, and even viewport overlays. To a certain extent, this is really great, especially when you need to keep your workflow smooth and efficient, especially with complex scenes. Generally speaking, the add-on comes with two modes, during playback for a smooth animation playback and pose mode for making adjustments to poses or lighting without lagging which is going to be perfect for animators and project managers who need consistent performance. And one of its interesting features is the Isolate in Collection function. This temporarily dedicates all the system resources to selected objects, making it easier to handle resource-intensive tasks like geometry node playback or simulation baking. And this is especially important if you have kind of a low-spec machine. Now, let's talk about another add-on called Trace Master. This add-on takes 2D to 3D conversions to a whole new level. It can be used by designers, animators, or anyone working with logos. But it doesn't stop there. I mean, it doesn't stop at converting images into meshes. It also gives you a lot of flexibility to fine-tune the outcome. I also have to tell you about the option to convert image selections as well as the ability to extract the basic outline using the outline features. But if you don't want that, then consider opting for the field method. And by the way, you can invert your outcome when using both of these modes, which gives you a lot of possibilities. And if you need more control over your shapes, you can actually refine them using color and brightness thresholds to get just the look that you are aiming for. Now, back to lighting, we have another add-on called Fake God Rays and Glow Objects. And this is a collection for adding God Ray and Glow effects to your Blender scenes with minimal efforts as you can expect. This asset pack I think is gonna be great for anyone wanting to add a dramatic touch to their renders, whether it is for cinematic shots or stylized animations. And now, let's talk about the numbers. So you've got over 60 emissive and God Ray materials in addition to 30 pre-made scene setups. And you can easily drag and drop these assets from Blender's asset browser and start enhancing your scenes. But it is not just God Rays, because you can use these shaders on models for unique lighting effects, or you can shape the light objects to fit your preference. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.